In today's video, we will be climbing to the top of the Cape Henry Lighthouse. Whose idea was the word names? <laughs> Yours. Traveling to our next destination. Where are we? <laughs> Exploring a very random town. I feel like I hadn't seen a person in a while. And just having fun along the way. Y'all see my parking space. So come along and let's adventure. Today we're visiting Cape Henry Lighthouse. Fun fact, it was built in 1792. Oh, we have to catch a shuttle because we're on military base and they won't let us take our own vehicle. First, we went through inspection and were informed to only stay on the allotted paths or you will be detained since this is a military base. We came to visit the White House. The White House? <laughs> we came to visit the lighthouse, but it was too hot. They won't let us on the inside. So pro tip, if you do come here to visit Cape Henry Lighthouse, you want to come first thing in the morning because the later in the day it gets, the hotter it gets. We decided to come back first thing the next morning so that we would be able to go to the top. But in the meantime, we explored the beautiful grounds. Let's go check out the boardwalk. If you come onto the boardwalk, you'll get a good view of the lighthouses and a great view of the water. We saw so many dolphins roll by. Okay guys, round two, we were the first ones here. We made sure of it too. <laughs> we were like, we will not be late and we're on our way up. They said pace ourselves. There's a thousand steps already, y'all. Good uh. thing we worked out yesterday with riding bikes. <laughs> My legs are already burning. <laughs> Right, so we've got 194 steps from the very bottom of the stairs, 114 from right here, and then 102 in the tower alone. You are awesome, Elle. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh <laughs> All right, let's go. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, what? <laughs> this doesn't seem too bad. No? No, it's definitely cooler in here than it is. It is. I agree. But we should still pay so. Yes. What movie are you in, babe? <laughs> the Giants Fosters. <laughs> the Giants Fosters. <laughs> The Cape Henry Lighthouse was completed in 1792. In 1867, they replaced the wooden staircase with a cast iron staircase. This caused some cracks, and so out of caution, they built the black and white lighthouse in 1881 as a backup. It is the tallest enclosed cast iron lighthouse in the United States, and it is still active today, which is why you're not able to go to the top of it. You can also see this 120-ton battleship gun barrel from World War II. Whose idea was the word names? <laughs> Yours. Oh, From the bottom, you can enjoy more history and views, and we also found our sweet friend, Elegan. Um, so my favorite part about working here is probably the great view. You also meet some really cool people, like these folks here, <laughs> so that's always really fun. Um, but I really love the view and all the history, so that's probably my favorite part. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. <laughs> We headed back to our home, which was parked at First Landing State Park, and we shared all of this in our last video. 
The time is 11.15. Our checkout is at one o'clock, so we got a jam to pack this place up. It's been so good being here. We had the perfect spot in the middle of everything, and we just got to enjoy it all, so. We had no expectations coming into this spot, so it honestly was just a gift to start out the journey here. We have loved every second of it, and we can't wait to show you where we're going next. We had forgotten to take off the little yellow tag on the outside of the campsite um, on the clipboard, so I went back to grab that so that we could check out. And now I'm headed over to Marlin. Truly the best part about living in a camper. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> Dumping our tanks. <laughs> the journey continued as we said goodbye to Virginia Beach and headed to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. It was 24 whole dollars to drive through this tunnel with the camper. You know what I can do with 24 dollars? <laughs> This tunnel, which took almost 89 months to build, was our connection to Virginia's eastern shore. Where are we? <laughs> so we're about eight minutes from our destination. Destination. We are about eight minutes from our destination. Y'all, we don't even know what city we're in. So this is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm taking up the whole road. <laughs> Cars are coming by, making me nervous. <laughs> Got a FedEx truck behind me. No, he got work to do. We are very intrigued to see how our camper's doing because it's a pretty bumpy road. Warning, beware of ticks. Wear insect repellent. Check for ticks daily. Shower soon after being outdoors. Call your doctor if you get a fever or a rash. Welcome. <laughs> you all see my parking space. <laughs> Welcome to humidity. Is that a bug in my seat? I've been sitting on a fly. Look at you, I've been sitting on a fly. Look at this fly. Is it dead? Look at this fly. Sitting on a fly. You gonna make it, little buddy. Look at that thing. That ain't no fly. Oh, <laughs> what was it? Big. Okay guys, we just set up our camp. We're getting quicker each time that we do it. We're starving, we're sweating, <laughs> we're exhausted. So one of our favorite quick go-to meals is charcuterie. We're hoping to eat in time that we still have a little bit of daylight to explore just to get out and enjoy because it may rain these next few days. So we gotta get it in while we can. had just enough daylight left to come explore the cute little town of Wachapree. I don't know if that's how you say it and I tried to look up some fun facts but I can't seem to find enough cell service <laughs> for them to load so we're just going to explore and see where it leads. I feel like I hadn't seen a person in a while. guys got the same fish. It's like half of his jaws, all right? I'll take the other half. <laughs> but who gets it in the boat? So we have officially explored the whole town of Wachapree in about five minutes. <laughs> on what you preak? What you do? <laughs> what you wear? You blink and you just walk through the whole town. We saw an equivalent of three people. I'm kidding. Maybe it's 20 people, but most of them were in a restaurant. Some people were playing corn cornhole in a firehouse yard, which is pretty random. 
Like there's nowhere else to play cornhole in this town? <laughs> I don't know. It's enjoyable though. I enjoy it. Small town vibes for sure. Thank you so much for watching another Jones Foster's journey. We have so much more coming for y'all. We cannot wait to share. A great way to support us is to subscribe, like our content, engage with us, leave us a comment, and we'll see you soon.